Hello guys, welcome to a new video on Tower of God New World and a brand new episode of my comprehensive guide on this game. So in today's video I will talk about uh, report and which unit need which level of report for them to perform uh, the right way. So uh, report, as we can see also from the table that I'm sharing here uh, on my spreadsheet, I edited a little bit as compared to the version you saw in my spreadsheet video. Uh, I added the preferred gift uh, for each unit so that it's easily uh, you, you can easily uh, find this information and also see uh, multiple units that require the same gift. Uh, the only exception to this is this guy uh, Lurker because I don't have him and I couldn't find online which kind of item he needed. So guys, please, if you know it, uh, just let me know in the comments and I will update this file accordingly. But yeah, for all the others, I just wrote which items they they want. The preferred gift will give 200 EXP and the normal gift will give uh, 100 EXP. There are also cases where the mm, there will be gifts that give 50 EXP and that's because mm, that particular unit uh, dislike that kind of gift. In this case, uh, we see that the Medal of Honor for um, Uruk is not a welcome gift, so it will just gain 50, uh, 50 report XP. I don't recommend giving uh, anyone a gift that's at 50, because there would be better units to spend it on, you could even use it as a plus 100 for other carries, but please do not give it to units unless strictly necessary. So that being said, uh, you obviously want to prioritize your carries because as we will see now in this table, all the carry units, all the DPS units will have level six as a mandatory requirement because if you don't have that amount of accuracy you will never hit your opponents and that's a big problem when your like your whole existence is built towards dealing damage so obviously we need that accuracy and obviously to get to level six we have to go through level four and level five so those two will be mandatory as well for the carry units for all other units pretty much level four is the mandatory one because it will give us uh, 25 total swiftness. As you can see from here, 10 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3. It's a total of 25, which is really, really good. And if we if we look at the swiftness of like my Urek in this case, he only has 46 swiftness, meaning that uh, the 25 from the report is already more than half of his total amount of swiftness, which is really good. So swiftness is obviously used to cast skills more frequently and earlier. So that's a stat that basically all units want, with some exceptions that we're going to talk about right now. So those exceptions are uh, mainly units that do not have any uh, wide use. So in this example is Go Sang. She's a unit that's replaced by Evan almost entirely, and her good, uh, like her good uh, skills, are just like not really that reliant on spamming. Let me see if I can pull her up here. Uh, her passive is good. Uh, this passive will, will be boosted by the exclusive equipment, so she will provide this buff to the whole team and also additional buffs, which is really good. Then she has a heal, but it's a single target heal, uh, so nothing really valuable. And then the other two will rely on hitting the skill to apply a swiftness debuff, which if you don't have uh, accuracy is not really that easy to land. That being said, she's still a valuable uh, unit. You could use her if you don't have Evan. You could use her in a secondary team just as a generic support. She can definitely work, but the reason why I didn't put this field as mandatory is because only her heal is ba will take advantage of swiftness and she's just not a main unit you will use in the long run. 
And since she's sharing this uh, item with Kiseya and Rachel, I feel like there are better uses of it than to spend them on, on Gosang. Then we have Gray. Uh, even also in our case, uh, I wouldn't recommend just bringing a report to four. It's not a priority for sure because you don't care about all their skills or all you care about is her passive. She just needs to apply this fear to one of the enemy assassins or a carry or whatever, whatever you can get her to, to fear. And that's all she needs to do. The rest of her kit is pretty average. So nothing really worth your time. She has some nice CC, but that's, that's pretty much it. So don't waste resources on her, especially because the hairpin, hairpin is used by Yeon and you want to give it to her 100% of the times. So yeah. Then the next exception is in Dorsey. She's also using the hairpin. So you'd rather give it to, to Hiwa Yeon but uh, she also has the, the point that she doesn't need any kind of investment to do what she's supposed to do. And that is just distracting the enemy team, grouping it up a little bit, and then she can die happy because she did what she had to do. Uh, I have her at level four, but look, don't look at mine because over time you will take the majority of your units to level four anyway for the suspendium mainly and even higher because you will get an abundance of gifts so don't worry about it at the beginning just focus on your carries then the unit that really need it and leave the all the other ones for last if you were planning to use her as a main carry then okay by any means uh, update uh, upgrade the report up to level six, but I don't see. I don't think it's mandatory. Then here we have Rachel, uh, the purple one, the one that everyone hates or everyone should hate. Uh, she's an okay unit in the game. Uh, I would never play her. I made the mistake to level her exclusive equipment up a little bit, but just ignore her. I would recommend not building her. Because, as I said also in all other videos, she's more of a main DPS unit, but she's worse than Joaquin. So, you cannot use her as a sub DPS. I mean, you could, but there are disadvantages, which are she's going to redirect the damage she takes to that main carry, which you don't want to see. And she's also going to steal energy from your main carry. So, that's also something you, you don't want to see. So, I would avoid using her. But in case you really want to, uh, she's the same as all the other DPSs, which is uh, take her to level six. Otherwise, she's pretty much useless. Then we have Apple, which is another exception. Uh, and I have her here. Let me check. Apple here. Okay, basically, she also doesn't really need a high um, swiftness. I mean, it's recommended so that she can ult a little bit quicker. She can use some of her skills to buff the red elements accuracy. But since she's just uh, res limited to being used in boss fights, I don't think you have that much of a need for her to cast additional skills. But there is a but. She is using instant coffee, which is something that only uh, Hansung Yu is also using. So Hansung Yu is not a good unit, so you might as well drop them, uh, drop all the instant coffees you get to Apple until she gets to level four, and that's it. So yeah, you could definitely do that as well. The other unit is uh, Yellowy. She she's also there just for her passive, so you don't need to give her any kind of swiftness or whatever. You only need her passive here. Uh, her whole kit is kind of built around uh, swiftness, so if you are planning on uh, having her deal some damage, which probably could be possible, not that sure, but could be possible, uh, you can definitely uh, then bring her to level 4, but at that point you would also have to bring her to level 6 
for the accuracy, otherwise no damage dealt at all. Then we have no other exceptions. Everyone else just has the level 4 as mandatory. And as we see here, it's just cheap. 38 preferred gifts, you will get them in no time, no problem. The problem is getting to 161 for the level 6. That's really a lot more. So you have to be aware of which resources you are spending. Then level 5. Uh, in general, for this level, the majority of them will have recommended uh, because this uh, level is mandatory if you want the to level up the slot three of your gear so the one that provides uh, evasion because if you don't have level five that gear is totally useless you will never have enough uh, evasion to avoid enemy hits if you don't have level five so that's 100 percent needed if you're planning on like using it for PV, that unit for PvP, or just in general to avoid one or two hits every once in a while in, uh, in adventure and help with the uh, reducing the number of attempts needed to clear a, a floor when you're pushing high deficits. So most of them will have it at recommended, but uh, obviously all the main carries will have this one as well as mandatory, obviously, and some of them will have it as overkill or nice to have so let's just go over those uh, briefly so Cheonwa the yellow knight uh, this guy is just uh, not needed because against bosses at the beginning the bosses will not have that high of a, a accuracy or even evasion for that matter so uh, all your hit, all your skills will pretty much hit, and once uh, this guy casts his special skill for the first time, it will just apply the debuff. Then your damage will skyrocket, and the boss will enter a stage that deals so much so much damage to you that it doesn't really matter which stats you have. You will get one shot; they will hit you, and you will die. So to get the job done, it doesn't really need those two stats at all if you want to use them even for pvp which he sucks at but maybe you could try um, you can then also bring him to level six but it's not recommended especially because hooden sword is used by um, a few other guys one of them being uh, hats but that's not really the main reason why you don't want to spend too many resources on cheonwa is also Evan Kell. Evan Kell is using Hood and Sword, so obviously she has the priority. Then we have uh, Gray. Again, she doesn't need evasion, it's almost uh, detrimental to her because you want her to get hit one time and then she can die for all we care. And Dorsey, uh, it was nice to have before, it's also in this case nice to have because if you want to build her as some kind of uh, sub DPS you need the accuracy but it's overkill in general for most uh, uses you want to get out of Endorsey which is just as before grouping and uh, buying a few seconds for your team then we have again Apple same reason as Cheonwa against bosses it's not really needed and once the boss reaches a certain stage, you will just get wiped out, so it's not really necessary. Yellowy, again, we don't care what happens to her after uh, after the start of the battle. She will just proc the passive, and then she can die. It's uh, it's okay. Everyone else will have the stat that recommended. Level six is nice to have for most of the units. Uh, other than the one that are uh, obviously mandatory and the ones that had the level five at um, overkill because also level six is overkill at that point. And uh, let's see, in general, uh, most of the units will get some use out of hitting people uh, because you want them to apply like stuns or crowd controls in general. 
you want them to yeah apply debuffs and stuff like that so it's definitely uh, useful as a stat overall but you also have cases where you just need to um, like deal more damage because they they also have some damage built in their kit that they could uh, use if they had enough accuracy so that's also a nice to have thing uh, then there are units like shibisu this guy is also only used in boss fights and the reason why his evasion is more important than Cheonwa or Hapul is just because this guy, uh, at least for me, I see that he often dies at the beginning of the boss fight for some reason. I cannot understand why really. Uh, <laughs> it's really strange to me. It just is it, one of the units that most of the time is dead by the time all, every other one uh, has cast their ultimate. It is already dead. So, without evasion and without some kind of defense, this guy won't even get to cast his, uh, his special skill. So, yeah, it's kind of needed. The accuracy, on the other hand, is not necessary because his uh, ultimate, his special skill, is just not relying on hits. It's just targeting a unit and providing buffs to the allies that hit that unit. So it's fine you don't need the accuracy is overkill then uh, another unit for which this story is a little different is like ghost because this guy is a pure tank he deals very low damage he has the special skill that actually deals something but you do not need him to do damage all you need him to do is just to be there and survive so accuracy is just overkill Especially again, he needs the hooden sword, which is also used by Evan Kell, so she has priority over it. Then we have uh, other supports like Gustang. He also deals a lot of damage, actually. I didn't think it was this strong. I will have a video on him uh, shortly, like in the following days, I will prepare a video and showcase him. Because I noticed that in Adventure, it started to deal like one-fourth of the damage my Joachim deals, but he's in a like a slot that's 20 level lower. So, kind of strange to me. This guy seems to be really, really good. Mine is quite invested uh, in terms of dupes, like he's at one red. I will take it to three red shortly and also like equipment as you can see i upgraded the resist the one that increases survivability i'm planning now also to increase his accuracy and his uh, crit rate and crit damage because i think they will be used by the bots because they take 80 percent of this guy's stats so definitely they will also take accuracy and crit it, crit rate and crit damage so I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how much damage it can actually deal at 3 red. But that's enough for, for this guy. Then again, uh, moving forward, Karaka is uh, a tank, but he has a lot of damage in his kit, so he can, he can make use of the accuracy stat pretty well. And I oftentimes find him being the last guy alive against all the opponents, and then he misses the majority of the hits. So I think uh, leveling up his slot 1 and his level 6 report is a nice thing to have just to make him more consistent and maybe helping getting rid of some uh, enemies. Uh, Kunagero, uh, level 6, nice to have to apply the stun on his ultimate more consistently. Nare, uh, actually our accuracy is not too important uh, the only th skill that uses it is this one that attacks enemies four times and every time it hits steals 200 energy from the enemy and locks them so the higher the accuracy the more valuable the skill is if it's low you won't really get anything out of this one but all other three skills do not require anything at all then we have uh, again other differences nothing much Warion uh, 
she is also some sort of sub DPS, so uh, accuracy is definitely a nice to have uh, stat on her if you're planning to use her as a sub DPS, like most people are. Uh, but if you are like me and you're just using her for su her supporting capabilities, then just uh, forget about accuracy, you don't really need it. Xia Xia, uh, she's also a unit that doesn't really rely too much on uh, accuracy and the only skill that does is this one and it has a silence from her exclusive equipment otherwise it just blinds the enemies that's the only thing that relies on accuracy so it's a nice to have thing but nothing major the other two skills just target the allies so it's fine blank uh, also doesn't doesn't really need accuracy and the majority of her skill are just buffs the only thing that impa that's impacted by accuracy is the stun which could be nice but in my opinion that's really the lowest priority one out of all and the treasure map is also used by uh, Huarion and um, Evan so there are better units to uh, use all those gifts on than than her. Then we have someone else strange, Data Machini. Uh, she's just nice to have because to like really use the accuracy, like have her at level seven, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, if you don't have her at high dupes, she's not a main DPS, so you don't really care about her accuracy at all. You don't necessarily even care about her evasion uh, because uh, she can still survive in a, even if she gets hit so it's not then needed but if you want to go with her with more dupes they become more and more important because then you can dodge uh, dangerous co crowd controls you can hit more hits and deal more damage that's that's okay but that's really for high for an high dupes uh, data machine otherwise you don't need anything other than the swiftness to extend as much as possible her invincibility then Horyang is a pure supportive uh, character so he's just a tank that provides shield and buffs himself and then he has some small stand but doesn't really matter uh, not worth to spend the gift to get him to level 6 accuracy then we have uh, who else? Kordan is a little different because this guy is a fighter, but he also has like crowd controls and stuff. I, I wouldn't call him a, a damage dealer, but he might actually be. I don't have enough experience with him to be sure. Uh, but yeah, you definitely want accuracy for him to silence and just. Uh, damage the enemies but the problem is that this wing tree badge is used by also other uh, good units like Urek for sure is one that you want to prioritize Hatzling is probably better than him as a DPS and I thought there was someone else with that but probably was mistaken yeah seems so so just Urek uh, that's way better than him to invest this uh, gift on so give priority to him and then if you really want to use Kordan go ahead <coughs> sorry okay the next one Leraro he also has some debuffs on his special skills so he needs some accuracy but nothing major uh, he's mostly there for the, um, uh, the passive Novik uh, is recommended to have the uh, the accuracy because he has two skills that need to hit for uh, to provide a lot of value which which is the uh, second active that blocks all basic attack uh, dealt by the target for 10 seconds which is really huge and also silence for se for six seconds so you want high accuracy for him to be able to apply those debuffs to the enemies then we have as another difference Lozel and uh, Lozel 
she's just not going to damage the enemies she has one skill which is this one that's going to stun enemies and apply a defense decrease debuff that will be like 40 percent at level five but again there are better units to invest since the stilettos are also used by child and dorsey she definitely has priority and all other skills are just applied to allies so you don't really care about uh, accuracy uh, yuri is a tank but she doesn't really tank that much she doesn't really deal that much damage but still it's a nice to have uh, like uh, accuracy is a nice nice to have thing because it will apply a swiftness debuff to the enemies hit by the skill so definitely uh, a nice addition then the last guy uh, the hard you don't need accuracy on him unless you plan on bringing him to three red star that's also the recommended level in the dupes section uh, if you have him at three red star then by any means take him to level six report otherwise you can stop at level five but level five is important on him uh, because this guy has the skill here i also said the same thing uh, for in the gear video but i will just repeat myself here uh, he has increased evasion uh, in his second skill and uh, it's really important for him to be able to dodge if you don't have that many dupes because at level one it will just be 100 increase with the level five it will be a total of 200 again so it's not yeah like it's really important to have it otherwise it will not dodge and you will not deal any counters with this skill and he will not deal a lot of damage and stuns which uh, is what you want him to do like mainly the stun from his counter uh, which is yeah stun the target for two seconds but yeah evasion extremely important for a low duped uh, the hard and accuracy mandatory once you have him to three red all right that being said, I think that's all for the report. I hope I didn't miss anything in this video. And yeah, as I said, prioritize your carries. Uh, you can see here in this page how many gifts you need to get it to a certain level. So please make use of that. Try not to give gifts to people that uh, for which it's not the preferred one. Try always to bring at least everyone that you are using to level four report and also additional units uh, over the course of the game because obviously it's a nice source of uh, suspendium okay guys thank you for watching and if you like the video please drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video that will be about exclusive equipment uh, so yeah please look forward to it and i will see you in the next one Bye.